Hi folks and welcome to this video that is about a new robotic dog that just became available last month. I've already ordered this dog from Amazon and it costs $125. It's called Pixel and it's by Educational Insights. And what makes this robot dog special is that you can code it. And you can code it using two different coding languages. So you've got the very simple Blockly drag and drop, but you've also got the ability to code it with Python. And I'm really excited about getting this so that I can learn something about Python coding. So first of all, I'll read out the product description from Amazon before talking a bit more about this dog, what sensors it's got and why I'm so excited about getting it. So here's the product description. Follow simple instructions to program Pixel to perform amazing actions and tricks. Show sweet expressions, change colours, make silly sounds and more. Two coding languages, Blockly and Python. With Pixel's password protected Wi-Fi, simply connect to a Wi-Fi enabled tablet or computer to Pixel. Simple setup, start coding in minutes. Built-in tutorials, an easy to follow guide. Start dragging and dropping codes for Pixel to follow in just minutes. What's included? Pixel, built-in rechargeable battery, USB-C cord, code activator, guide and built-in user interface with two programming languages. So we'll have a look at this diagram now showing different parts of Pixel. So we've got a touch sensor mm -hmm. on the front of the head and then it's got a microphone on the top of the head between the ears and it got, it says a proximity sensor, but that's going to be infrared, isn't it, Paul? It looks like it. There are two holes there, so one would be a transmitter of an infrared single signal and the other one would be a receiver of the reflective signal. So those are going to be the three inputs that you've got, aren't they? You know, to initiate code, code, to make code, code run. run. Yeah. I did read somewhere that um, it only will run the code once. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look like you can have any kind of loop. Right, so if you've got uh, some code to move um, Pixel sort of forward, say, half a metre when you touch its head, mm -hmm. it stops after that and ends. Yeah, or even if you've got, like, several different, different things, like move forward, wagtail, white skin, Mm -hmm. turn blue mm -hmm. or you know make this sound it once it's gone through it it won't loop round it doesn't look like you could put like a loop does it mm, not really sure about that um just that when it said it only runs it once it, that's what it suggested to me it's it's not really clear mm, i suppose we'll just have to wait till it comes to find that out yeah those are the three inputs so that's how you could start a program running mm -hmm. i did read this on the toy insider they said that while the proximity sensor worked really well mm -hmm. pixel wouldn't always respond to the touch and sound mm, wonder why that would be then don't know i mean the thing about the sound is it's got to be listening hasn't it and, and you would do that in your code, wouldn't you, by saying if something like the sound level is 120, then do such and such. I suppose you've got to make sure that the sound level is above mm. whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll be interested anyway, since if we can get that to work. So this is programmable in Python as well as the... Uh, Blockly. Blockly language. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what's got me interested, because... I've never even seen Python language before. Uh, I've heard of it and that's it. I've tried to do coding with Arduino, but to be quite honest, I do find it very difficult. Have you seen any examples of Python programming for Pixel yet? No, because the examples are like 
on the advertising, they've just shown you the Blockly. Mm. So it'll be really interesting to see what the Python's like. I think it's the first toy I've ever heard of that allows you to use Python as a Yeah. Programmer. So let's have a look at some of these outputs. Customizable multicolored LEDs. Mm -hmm. So you've got those in the ears and then on the neck and in the middle of the of the dog's body because it's it pivots. I see. And also on the eyes and the mouth as well. Well, those are like a matrix, aren't they? LED it's, matrix. It yeah. calls those... them programmable expressions. Right. So it sounds like you can program. Those can be available to program as well. So you've got one on each eye and then the mouth. And I know I saw on one picture that one of the sort of eye eye expressions is, is a heart. I quite like that. Oh, all right. Yeah. So uh, the tail also and the, um, the, the, the wheels, the motors on the front wheels of the dog, are those programmable, uh, presumably? Oh, yeah. 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 And, of course, the speaker will be for making sounds. I've only seen one video um, that one person's put on of this apart from the promotional videos. The sounds are pretty odd. Are they? Yeah. It sounds like a sort of purr crossed with a horse snorting. <laughs> Not dog sounds, which is funny. Mm. I think the lighting the LEDs in, in different parts of the body in different colours could be good feedback when that's in the code you're writing. So you know where you are. Yes, you can use it like uh, the LEDs, like markers for where the code is, yeah. Mm. When you're learning the Python. It's interesting that this programmable dog's coming out this year at the same time that another robot dog's coming out because we've not had any robot dogs for years and now we've got two. So two robot dogs coming out at the same time, but they are different. No, a dog oh, yeah. is not as sophisticated, is it? No, the... The main thing with the doggy is that it's each one can be made different. And the the other very interesting thing about it is this persistence of vision tail. Oh, yeah, that's a great novelty. That, yeah, it? I'm really looking forward to seeing that. It can communicate through mm. its tail by mm -hmm. actually having words there, which I think is brilliant. Mm. There are some similarities between them, you know. The, the use of uh, a lot of LEDs on it for different colours yeah. is one. Mm -hmm. they both got a microphone as well. Right, so they both respond to sound, but Doggy's not programmable, is it? No, it's not programmable. Mm -hmm. It's not programmable, but you c you still got some... Control. ...over different aspects to it, yeah, some like, cu customization. Yeah, like customization control, isn't it, really? Yeah, it says you can save profiles and teach tricks. Right. How you using, do that? The, using the app. Oh, right, so it comes with an app and you can set up different profiles to make yeah. it look, customise yeah. its looks and, and teach you tricks as well. Well, that's what it says. Right, so... It won't have a built-in battery mm. like um, the other one. Yeah. I mean, this is actually cheaper. This is $80, whereas right. the other one's 125 Okay, so it's not programming. It's using an app just to change settings on it, really, isn't yeah. it? And initiate yeah. And initiate pre uh Presumably pre-built in tricks. Yeah, yeah, but you're still having some control mm. over what the actual dog looks like and acts So you like. need a smartphone or a tablet to really work with doggy. And, and the other one. Look, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now that's that's becoming more of a feature, isn't it? Uh, you need a smartphone or a phone or a tablet to uh, use with the uh, the product. So that about wraps it up for this video. As I say, I've already ordered this. And I expect it will come early next week. I actually ordered it from Amazon.com, mm -hmm. even though we're in the UK. Yeah. Because crazily, it was cheaper, <laughs> that, which is mental, isn't yeah, it? Even it with is. the tax yeah. and, the and the shipping, shipping yeah. it was cheaper to mm -hmm. buy it from Amazon.com. So as soon as it arrives, I will, of course, be doing a full unboxing mm -hmm. and review. Yeah. And I would imagine... Look, we'll do quite a few videos on this. Yeah. Going over the programming. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what Python capabilities got and learning something about Python myself. And seeing what it looks like. Because, yeah. as I say, all the videos we've seen, we've not actually seen what the Python code looks like. Just, that's right, Just yeah. the blockly mm, like, mm. that's on the screen now. Yeah, which I don't think is a good sign, but <laughs> we'll find out, <laughs> won't we? Yeah. So, folks... That's about it for this video. 
Thanks for watching as always and hope to see you in the unboxing.